first of all, uh, welcome Dr. Natasha Campbell McBride. I'm Dr. Niley, Vice President of uh, the, uh, the Sanmo. I would like to thank you for accepting this interview for Sanmo Algeria through Skype. Um, thank you very much for inviting me. I'm delighted to be here. Okay. You are definitely recognized as a specialist in mental disorders for children and human uh, immune disorders. Where all kinds of microbes live each other side by side and they all control each other. They don't allow each other to get out of control. And because in every human being, their gut flora is unique, and the mixture of toxins coming from the gut flora is unique too, the symptoms that the brain will come up with will be also unique. So in some cases, that group of symptoms might fit into a diagnostic box that we have, a diagnosis, maybe autism, maybe hyperactivity, maybe schizophrenia, maybe bipolar disorder, or depression, or eating disorder, or something else. Or it may not fit into that because this is a unique human being with a unique mixture of toxins coming to the brain. The communication should be through the vagus nerve or other mechanisms. My, my question is, uh, when you reflect, can you ex explain this connection and the role of maybe nutrients for a healthy brain, for example? First of all, the brain uses chemicals called neurotransmitters, serotonin, dopamine, norepinephrine, endorphins, there's about 200 various chemicals that the brain uses. The more we research these chemicals, the more we realize that actually they're manufactured in the digestive system and then transported to the brain to be used. Is there a diet, special diet, for people suffering from uh, altered, ma I mean, bipolar disorders or mental disorders uh, in, in all? Yes, absolutely. I have developed the GAPS nutritional protocol. The purpose of this protocol is to drive out pathogens from the digestive system, normalize and rebalance the gut flora, bring it to normality as much as we can, and most importantly, heal and seal the gut wall. That's the main purpose. Our digestive system is a long tube. What you fill that tube with has a direct effect on its well-being. So food is medicine. So in the alternative medicine, in the holistic medicine, you know, or molecular medicine, we listen to the body, we listen to the symptoms, rather than suppressing them, we try to find the root cause of what's going on in the body and deal with that root cause. Hippocrates, those thousands of years ago, the father of modern medicine, made a statement that all diseases begin in the gut. I wish uh, to welcome you someday in Algiers. Thank, Thank you very you. much. I would love to come one day. Thank you. All we have to do is work with the body. Listen to its intelligence, listen to the symptoms, listen to what's going on, because the body always tells us whether we're going the right way or not the right way. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye-bye. I appreciate it.